I started uh, pretty much from the, my apartment. Uh, the luxury closet was my wife's closet. Uh, and then in 2012, we went and raised, uh, raised uh, seed capital from uh, some friends, family, and also Middle East venture partners. So the journey started there. I saw uh, you know, these products that are immaculately crafted with the best material and craftsmanship that is handed down to generations. Uh, and then I also saw that a lot of these products, unfortunately, end up with customers for a short while, but then in, uh, in, in closets. Well, there's a lot of people out there dreaming about owning these, uh, owning these products. I was telling some of my friends and one of my friends came around and said, oh, but of course it already exists, you know. There's this place and this place and this place and this place, do it. And I was like, oh no, you know, somebody's done it before. Um, I went and checked out uh, some of these small stores that run the same model. And uh, I, my reaction post that is that this is not how the business should be. If they, running the business the way they did, could get that instruction, then I was like, how big can the business be if you actually do it properly uh, and you put some capital, capital behind it. Uh, soon enough, the challenges became, how do you get the right initial team on board? What is the talent that you should be hiring? How do you, uh, how do you even build, uh, uh, you know, build e-commerce? Because there's, you know, there's a technology, very strong technology uh, backbone to it. And where we are now, uh, it becomes a uh, scale. So how do you design processes that scale? Uh, we really have the best of the best of supply. 35% of our sales come from outside the, the Gulf region. So there is demand for these items globally.